The Build Better More Infrastructure Agenda of President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. was an adaptation of the previous administration's Build 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 program. These infrastructure initiatives were the Philippines government's centerpiece program to usher the Philippines into its golden age of infrastructure. The Philippines Railway Network From the peak, the Philippines had 1,100 kilometers railroad network. A railway from Manila to Dagafan was the first commercial rail operated on 1892 with a total length of 195.4 kilometers. On 1905, the first electric tram line was open in Manila, serving a total of 63 kilometers around the city. In 1920, it was expanded to at least 100 kilometers track serving 330,000 residents. During its peak year in 1925, it carried 35 million passengers on its urban and interurban line. In 1907, Fanay Railway Incorporated was opened from the wharf of Iloilo City to Rojas City in Capiz. The passengers and freight trains were operating with 117 kilometers. The passengers train ceased its operation on 1985, and after four years freight trains follows. The operating rail line in Cebu was opened in 1911 with 92 kilometers. From the north, it runs from Danao, with a central station in Cebu City, going south to Argao. The operation halted after 30 years, during the World War II. The decline of Philippine railway network is due from destruction in World War II, natural calamities, neglect, underspending and corruption on rail projects. From the 1,100 kilometers in the 1920, to 77 remaining lines in 2015, now, the Philippine government planned to expand its real network from 77 to 1,900 kilometers to meet the increasing needs to commuters, to improve connectivity, and to decongest the major cities of the country. Along with other infrastructure projects in the sector of aviation, maritime, roads and expressway, and urban developments and reclamations. These will help the government to make Philippines from a newly industrialized country into developed economy in the coming years. In addition to four operational mass rapid line of LRT Line 1, LRT Line 2, LRT Line 2 East Extension, and MRT Line 3. Two functional commuter rail line of PNR Totoban to Calamba, and PNR Bicol Line. The Philippine government build numerous rail projects across the country and it will build more in the future. Today, we will feature the under construction, the approved and proposed railroad network, as the Philippines currently experienced its golden age of infrastructures. Dubbed as the crown jewel of the Philippine mass transportation system, the Metro Manila subway project construction is well underway. The tunneling works for the project crossed its point of no return this past January, and with it, the digging has been non-stop since. This will be one of the few fully underground rail lines in Southeast Asia, the other lines are in Singapore. The MMSP will now have 17 stations spanning from Valenzuela City to FTI Intermodal Terminal in Paranaque, with a spur line that connects to Naya Terminal 3 in Pase and will cover a distance of 33 kilometers. Based on feasibility studies, the subway will reduce travel time between Valenzuela City and Ninoy Aquino International Airport Terminal 3, from 1 hour and 10 minutes to just 41 minutes, serving an estimated 519,000 passengers daily. Underground works for the Metro Manila subway project is now expected to be operational by 2028, which can facilitate the drilling of 10 meters of tunnels per day. A total of 25 TBMs, which can dig up to 380 cubic meters of soil, will be used for the project. This also signifies the Department of Transportation's point of no return to complete the country's first-ever underground railway system. The Metro Manila subway will leverage Japanese technology to make the structure flood and earthquake-proof. The Metro Manila subway will use the One Sustina product brand name for the next-generation stainless steel train cars, featuring higher energy conservation, enhanced safety, and high maintainability. This brand has been adopted by multiple railway lines including the Yamanote line operated by East Japan Railway Company. 
The entire line will use 240 train cars, or 8 cars for 30 train sets, and will be manufactured and supplied by J-Track and Sumitomo Corporation, the leading train car manufacturer in Japan. PNR North-South Commuter Rail Project, Philippines PNR North-South Commuter Railway is envisioned as a 163-kilometer sub-urban railway network. Connecting, the regional business districts in Clark and New Clark City in the north, passing through central Manila to Calamba City in Laguna Province, south of the capital. The NSCR corridor will provide interchange with all of the existing Metro Manila rail lines, through the connection of MRT Line 3 and MRT Line 9 of the Metro Manila subway. A notable feature of NSCR will be the first airport rail shuttle in the Philippines. This airport express service will reduce the journey time between Clark International Airport in Pampanga and Makati City, the main business district in the capital, to less than an hour, compared to at least two hours by car at present. NSCR's technical parameters envisage a maximum operating speed of 120 km per hour for the commuter trains, and 160 km per hour for the airport express and semi-fast services trains. NSCR Phase 1 Projects, Contract Package 1 Solis to Bokawi, is 31.04% complete. And Contract Package 2 Balagtas to Malolos, is 58.8% complete. With the columns for Contract Package 2 already 75.5% complete. Overall, NSCR Phase 1 is 51% complete, while NSCR Phase 2 is 32% overall progress rate as of September 2021. On the other hand, the South Commuter Railway Project or NSCR Phase 3, pre-construction activities begin by the latter part of 2022, and by February 2023, will begin the full-scale construction works. Once fully operational, the NSCR corridor is expected to carry up to 800,000 passengers per day. The Makati Intracity Subway is a 10-kilometer under construction underground rapid transit line located in Makati City, Metro Manila, that will link establishments across the city's business district. The Makati Subway Project, the first of its kind in the country, intended to improve connections between districts and key points across Makati City, and reduce traffic on the city's road network, primarily through the central business district. The subway will cost 192 billion Philippine pesos and is expected to accommodate 700,000 passengers daily. It will also have 10 stations, with connections to the existing MRT Line 3, to the Pasig River Ferry Service, to Makati BGC Skytrain, and to the MRT Line 9 of the Metro Manila Subway. The longest rail project within Mega Manila is the PNR Bicol or the South Long Haul Project. The rail line will span 39 cities and municipalities, 4 provinces, and 2 regions stretching a 565-kilometer intercity rail line serving the southernmost of Mega Manila up to Bicol region. The new PNR coaches will run at the speed of 120 km per hour and the travel time from Legazpi City to Manila will be only 4.5 hours. The train's car can accommodate 168 passengers, with 36 in business class, 52 in first class, and 80 in second class accommodations. As designed, the rail project can accommodate up to 440,000 daily ridership. The Metro Rail Transit 7 or MRT Line 7, which is now at 60% overall completion rate, will support essential operations, by end of 2023. These rail and road projects have three major components, a 22.8-kilometer mass rail transit system starting from North Avenue Common Station to San Jose del Monte Bulacan, a world-class intermodal transportation terminal that will serve as a transportation hub catering to other types of public transportation, and a 19-kilometer highway from San Jose del Monte to Bocaui Bulacan. The line will be operated with 108 rail cars in a three-car configuration or 36 train sets, and will be able to carry 28,000 to 36,000 passengers in an hour per direction. It can accommodate 300,000 passengers daily in its first year of operation, and up to 850,000 passengers once it will be fully operational. The LRT Line 1 Cavite Extension. 
The construction of the first phase of the 64 billion pesos light rail transit line 1 Cavite extension is now 73% complete, in a statement from LRMC, the private sector operator of LRT line 1. Phase 1 of the 11.7 km LRT-1 Cavite extension project, which covers a total of five stations, will add the existing 20.7 km of metro line serving the southern part of Metro Manila. Once completed, the 11.7 km extension will reduce travel time between Baclaran and Bacor Cavite to 25 minutes, from 1 hour and 10 minutes. In addition, it will also increase LRT Line 1 capacity from 500,000 to 800,000 passengers daily. The biggest railway project outside Luzon is the Mindanao Railway System, spanning a rail network of at least 1,533 kilometers on its full alignment. The double-track electric rail system will create a circumferential rail network in the Philippines' second biggest island. It will connect the major cities in Mindanao. Spur lines will connect Surigao from Butuan City, Dipolog and Zamboanga will be connected from Iligan City while General Santos is connected via Kabakan Station. The project will be divided into 10 phases. Phase 1 of the projects involves the construction of a 105 km line connecting the four cities of Metropolitan Daba. It will have eight stations alongside with the segment's main yard to be located in Thagam and the main depot in Daba City. The rail system will improve the travel hours between Thagam and Digos from 3.5 hours to just 1 hour and 20 minutes. The proposed rail system in Metro Cebu the first proposed rail system, is the two-line Cebu monorail transit system. A 27-kilometer rail transit system, comprised of two lines. First line is in mainland Cebu, and another line is heading to the Mactan Cebu International Airport. The central line, will be 17.7 kilometers long and will have 14 stations. It will connect downtown Cebu City to the nearby city of Thalassae. It will be expanded to northern municipality of Lelo An, and traversing the city of Mandawe. While airport line will be 9.3 km long, and will have six stations connecting Cebu City downtown to Mactan Cebu International Airport. Its 5 hectares depot will be located near the airport. The network will be a fully elevated monorail system, capable of handling up to 15,000 passengers in one direction per hour with the maximum speed of 80 km per hour. The 77.5 billion peso project is waiting for the approval from the relevant government agency. Meanwhile, another proposed rail project is the Cebu MRT system. It will be 97 km, 50 stations heavy rail system running within the metropolitan Cebu. It will connect major cities of the province, from the southern city of Karkar, to northern city of Danao via Cebu City. These multi-billion project, is set to fast track, not just to decongest of Cebu's worsening traffic condition, but also to speed up the growth of the region's booming economy. In addition to the under-construction railway, the Philippines government approved several railway projects across Mega Manila. The Subic clark Railway Project. This project is a component of the PNR Luzon System Development Framework. The 71-kilometer single-track cargo railway providing initial freight service between the Subic Bay Freeport Zone and the Clark Freeport and Special Economic Zone. Linking Subic Port with Clark International Airport and other major economic hubs in central Luzon, especially New Clark City, and forming an integrated logistics hub for the development of central Luzon as a new growth center to decongest Metro Manila. This 50 billion peso project will create linkage between ports, railways, and airports along the Subic Clark Corridor, which will improve the logistic efficiency, trim the transportation cost, and support the potential demand for freight services and economic activities in the region. While the LRT Line 2 West Extension Projects is 3 kilometers additional rail road which extends westward towards Manila. 
The 10.1 billion peso project will add three more stations in Tutuba, Devasoria and Pier 4 in Manila Port. The project will add 16,000 more passengers to the current 240,000 passengers daily and The MRT Line 4 will be a monorail line, which will build an elevated train line from N. Domingo in Quezon City to Tai Tai, Rizal. When completed, it will be the first monorail line in the Philippines and the second rapid transit line serving the province of Rizal after the extension of LRT Line 2 to Antipolo. The 59.3 billion pesos MRT-4 project is targeted for construction by 2021 and expected to be operational by 2025. The proposed line will consist of 11 stations. The Makati, BGC Skytrain, is an under-construction monorail line meant to serve from Guadalupe in Makati to Uptown Bonifacio, in Bonifacio Global City area in Taguig, Metro Manila. The project consists of a 2 km public transit system between the vicinity of the Line 3 Guadalupe Station and Fort Bonifacio, Uptown Mall area. It generally follows the existing roads within the vicinity of J.P. Rizal Avenue, Laden Avenue, 8th Avenue, and 38th Street. The Phase 2 of the project will extend the Sky Train to Makati Central District. An expansion is also planned in Taguig that will connect the business district of Bonifacio Global City and the upcoming Aka South in FTI. Additional plans to build railroad networks includes, the proposed railroad project across the country. The Dabao People Mover, is a proposed 16-station 13-kilometer monorail line to be built in Dabao City, Philippines. The LOLO Monorail, a proposed monorail system serving LOLO City. The first phase covered three lines, LOLO City Hall to Haro District, Haro District to City Center, and from Muhun to City Center. MRT Line 8, also known as PNR East-West Line, is a 9-kilometer rail system connecting Zompaloc Manila and Diliman Quezon City via Commonwealth Avenue, Quezon Avenue, and Espana Boulevard. MRT Line 10 a 22.5-kilometer light rail system along C5 Road connecting to Naya Terminal 3 to Quezon City. It will have 16 stations. MRT Line 11. An 18-kilometer elevated heavy rail from Edsa Balintawak traversing Quirino Highway to Bulacan. PNR North Line New Clark City to San Jose. PNR North Line, Capas to Tarlac City. PNR North Line Tarlac City to La Union. PNR North Line, San Jose to Tuguegarap. PNR South Line, Legazpi to Matnov. These are the current and future rail network of the country, that make Philippines another step closer to a better tomorrow.